So as you'll know, I don't usually do firmware update videos. <sighs> but after my last experience when I was out with Lassie... Oh, you're kidding me. No, 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 it's no good. And the firmware update had reset a few of the settings. <laughs> I thought I would do my own. So I have updated to 1.70 using iOS and I've noticed no significant changes. Maybe there's been a couple of little tweaks, but there's been no major additions or subtractions to the firmware that I can see. Some other YouTube channels have reported that there are no changes to the settings. However, that's not been the case with me. And I have noticed a couple of resets once again. The first change that I noticed was that the follow mode, which I normally have my drone set to, had changed to FPV. And I had to change that back to follow. And the second change I noticed was that the maximum flying distance had been set to 2,000 metres. Now I normally have it set to maximum, to unlimited. So I had to change that again. And the third change that I noticed was not really all that important, but the LED that flashes on the front of the DJI Mini 2 had been reset. And I normally have that flashing on cyan and I have it in breathe mode and that had been reset. I've had a look at everything else and the most important thing for me was the return to home. And I had noticed that it was at return to home and it hadn't reset itself to hover or to land. So that was okay. But because there have been a few resets, it's worth checking your settings every single time you go to fly and checking all of your settings. The other setting that I did check was my advanced gimbal settings. I have my stick set in a way that allows me to have maximum smoothness of flying and makes my footage just look the way I want it to look. So I did check that and it looks to me as if my settings are all still the way they were. So I'm going to fly Lassie today, not far. I'm just going to fly her up and around the area here and probably around the two chimneys there and along the river a little bit. And I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm checking that the settings are all right. Everything's okay with the flight. And I'm also testing the replacement RCN1 controller that I had to buy from eBay <laughs> since I plunged my other one into the blanket bog and it, it went completely submerged so it's now full of water and if you've watched my previous video you'll understand what I'm talking about so this flight is going to be the screen that you'll see is only going to be the telemetry because I think it's important that we look and make sure that there are no little quirks or glitches with the telemetry so it won't be a particularly cinematic flight it will be more a telemetry flight. So let's get Lassie up in the air. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map.
So everything appears to be working perfectly well with Lassie and her new controller, her new RCN1. The signal strength looked really good throughout that entire flight. And although she didn't go far, that is a really good signal strength, which makes me wonder, has the firmware update fixed the signal strength issues? Or is it the controller? in a brand new controller, because although I bought this on eBay second hand, it was advertised as brand new. Does a brand new controller help to make the signal a lot stronger? So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to tune into my live stream, it's on in Sunday, 7 p.m. UK time, and I'll see you there.